hey. All right, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to swap a hide and cold stem on this faucet. This faucet is, if you have the box or something, it's a Fister. That's the model number to this faucet. This is located under the right, the right handle of this faucet. I'll show you how to get this off and where it will be. I'm gonna show you. But I'm gonna show you step by step on how to do this. But you're going to wanna do this when you have some time on your hands, just in case, because you cannot rush this. All right. So step by step, step first, or step one is to go underneath. I already turned it off, but this is the supply stop to this faucet. Turn off the hot and the cold. That's step one. Step two, turn both of them on. Make sure they're not supplying water. If it's supplying water, it will still, when you take that stem out, water would come out of it. All right. I guess we're going to start with the right one. Okay, to remove this faucet or this handle to this faucet, you first want to, this part here, you're going to want to turn this, not this, this. You got to turn it left. This may be kind of hard to do it, so you may want to get something like a towel. Wrap the towel around and take some channel locks. Uh oh channel locks, these, which some people will call them pliers. And you can put them around this and twist the whole thing. So you're gonna wanna take this, I already got it kinda loose, and turn it. Keep turning it until you can pull it straight up, just like this. You can place that to the side. Put it somewhere safe. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna want to take your channel locks. Oh. Ooh. You don't want to do that. Okay. You're gonna want to take your channel locks. See this little hex? It's like a nut. Put it on there like that. And turn it left. Turn the left, take it all the way off. And if you was wondering, this sticker that has the model number on it would be sitting right there on top. That's where it'd be located. Let me take that off, put that to the side. Let's go and pick on there. Take that off, put it to the side. This part, you can pull it up, or it's kind of tight, because it is kind of tight. You can take your channel locks, put it on there like that, and wiggle, pull up just a little bit, be gentle with it. You don't want to damage anything else. Just wiggle it on out of there, and put some force on it when you pull it. Right. You want to get your new stamp. This is the model number. This is for the code only. The model number. We are going to do the height. I have the height. This is for the code only. The code side, which is the right side. The height will always be to the left. Code would always be to the right. You know it's code because it has the blue ring on it. And one thing I want to put out. You cannot use hot on the coat. They, they, the internals are different. You cannot interchange them. Cannot do that. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna unbox this real quick. Unbox it. <laughs> I'm gonna take it apart real quick. So I can install the new one. Give me a minute. All right, I took the new one out. This is the old one. Don't even know look that bad, but hey. It was leaking. So, to install this one, easy. Set it down in there. I 
apply some pressure onto it. Okay, make sure the ring all the way down. I feel like it's all the way in there. All right, that's what you do. You take this nut, slide it down on it, on the top. The way, the same way you took it off, the same way you're gonna put it on. I'm gonna go to the right to, to the right until it's tight. Take a channel locks. Take channel locks around the nut. Turn right until it's kind of snug. You don't want it too tight. You don't want to damage anything. But you know. back on the right way this is what you're gonna do turn this you can't do it with your hands take toe handle and turn it all the way back okay to turn it back say if it's put like this you can take the toilet handle and turn it back and then put it put it on this way once it stop it stop right here where it's parallel with the wall or however you got it set up. That's how you know it's put on correctly. Take the bottom. You can tighten it by hand. Until it's tight. Boom. Finish with that part. Now I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the high side. Same thing. I screw to the left. Take off, place it down somewhere. Take your channel locks. Let me switch hands. Come on, to do it on you. Put your phone in here. Just like that. There's grooves in it. Put on the grooves. Turn left. It's loose. side try to pull up on it if you can't take channel locks channel locks on there like that wiggle it apply some force boom place that one to the side this is for the hot Let me take this one out real quick. Take it out the pack. Put it in there like that. Push down. The nut to the right. Okay, take, take your channel locks. Four pliers, whatever you want to call them. Tighten it until you feel it start to get tight. Turn the water back on. Start, start with the right one, which is the cold. Let's test it. Okay. 
get it like it's the old rubber. So if you ask what that was, it's just old rubber from removing the old one. All right. Turn the left one on, which is the hot. Check for yourself. Look at it for a minute. And boom. That's how you change the stem on this faucet. And if you are asking why would you want to do that, the stems will start leaking over time, just for people that don't know. Stems will start leaking over time. It's, just, it's only a matter of time. So, that's how you do that. Hey, so if you want to see more tutorials, um, subscribe to the channel. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Hey, comment if you want to see some more. If I run into more, hey, we do showers, we do everything. Right now, I'm getting ready to... I'm getting ready to install a toilet handle on the on the toilet so look out for the video too peace